Good morning, happy Tuesday. So I'm off today, as you can tell by me looking like a bum, and I have no makeup on, etc. So I was talking about it yesterday that I wanted to do like a drugstore, what should you buy at the drugstore kind of thing, or like what's cheaper in makeup, because I feel like I have a lot of friends that are like, girl, I'm not gonna spend $30 in an eyeshadow palette, and that is fine. So I have some eyeshadows, blushes, highlighters, lip stuff, so let's get to it. So first and foremost, I have to get this out of the way because you all already know, my NYX Epic Ink Liner is my favorite liner. It's black, it stays all day, it doesn't move. I have it on from 5.30 in the morning to like 7.30 p.m. when I get home and it doesn't budge. So love this, it's like $8. Definitely highly recommend. Epic Ink Liner, love it. Okay, had to get that out of the way. So, let's do face products because eyeshadow is going to be a whole thing because I have a lot of eyeshadows. So, one of the, oh, excuse me, one of the concealers I really like is by e.l.f. It's, I have it in Fair Beige. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a satin finish. So, if you have dry skin, you'd really like this and it's, um, it's like $6.00. So if you want something with decent coverage, I think this is nice. I definitely prefer my Too Faced one, but they're very similar. Um, it's just personal preference for me. Um, that's, but I have used a lot of this, it is good. So that's a, that's a good contender. If you want full coverage though, this is the Juvia's Place. What are you called? I don't know what it's called. It doesn't say, but it looks like this. And it's the Juvia's Place Concealer. And Juvia's Place, you can find it at Ulta. Um, you can also find e.l.f. on their website. I think you can find it at Walmart, but I'm not sure. I do all my shopping at Ulta, but you can find it pretty much everywhere because it's a really popular concealer. The Juvia's Place, though, I know you can get on Juvia's Place website and Ulta, but it's very, very, very high coverage. Um, I also got a shade that's way too light for me, so I don't wear it too often, but when I do, I actually put it under my foundation so you can't tell how light it is. So I'll put it under, especially my under eyes, and it'll cover it up pretty much completely. So that's a good one. Let's do some face stuff. So I have these by BH Cosmetics. Um, this one is Vanilla Peach Truffle. These are blush palettes, and they are so pretty like look at that look at how pretty that is like i love orangey blushes so the orangey pink is what i'm living for and i love the little pans how it looks like candy i think it's so cute these um i'm not gonna lie i can't remember i think they're like 12 bucks which is not bad for four blushes um they're really nice quality too i was gonna say i think they smell good too and they do they smell kind of like candy so these are really good don't worry, swatches are coming. It's just hard, kind of hard to swatch blushes, you know. And I really like this one too. This is the Chocolate Cherry Truffle, which is very similar to the Vanilla Peach, obviously. Um, and I'll show you them side by side, but this is the Chocolate Cherry. This one's darker, but I really like the tones in here too, because I, I like pigmented blushes. So, yeah, there we go. Make sure you can see them both, yeah. So this is the Chocolate Cherry and this is the Vanilla Peach. They are both around 12 bucks. You can get them on sale too, but they're on Ulta and BH websites. They're very good, especially for blushes. Like they're pigmented, they stay, etc. So my favorite thing from BH Cosmetics is their highlighters. This palette I'm pretty sure is still available. It's the Dual Light Highlighter 9 Color Palette. Like this is comparable to some of my high-end highlighters. Especially this shade, this gold right here. Like, I'm gonna swatch this for you. Like, look at that, look at it. Look at how pretty that is. So let me swatch it on my hand for you. Like, isn't that fucking gorgeous? Like, it's so pretty. It's like this peachy gold color. And this is, I think this palette was like $9, I wanna say. And it's got all these beautiful colors. I'm like, now I like want to swatch. And the formula is really nice and very, um, like the formula is nice, it's shiny. It's definitely a bold highlighter. 
but it's comparable to some of my higher end ones. Like that is the middle swatch and that's the first one. But this color is unbelievable. But yeah, this is really nice and it's like nine bucks. Highly recommend. I'm like, now I got, you know, makeup all over me. And the worst part is I have really dry skin, so it like gets all up in there. And it's because I'm a nurse, so don't judge me. I'm like, I have like crocodile skin right now because I wash my hands so much. Okay, moving on. A couple other face products we'll highlight on. Ha, <laughs> highlight. Um, so I guess we'll do highlighter first. This is the Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. Um, this is by some chick on YouTube, if you don't know who this is. Um, I've watched her stuff a couple times. Honestly, I have a really hard time with people with accents. And it's not because I dislike it, it's just harder for me to understand them. So I just like don't watch them as long. <laughs> But this highlighter palette is really pretty, and I think it was around the $12 range as well. And it's got, like, these really cool colors. And they feel soft. They're not as soft as the BH Cosmetics ones. BH Cosmetics one. Um, I don't know why I swatched it there. That was weird, but I did. And you can kind of see it. Um, I'll try another one on my hand. But I feel as though this palette is nowhere near as good as the BH Cosmetics one. So if you like a more subtle highlighter, like you'd probably like this. But I like really blinding, so the BH one is really nice. But this is an honorable mention. Um, it's definitely a nice palette. It's just not as blinding, you know? Something else from Revolution, they have this Makeup Revolution London little vintage lace blush palette. Um, sorry, my light is like washing it out, but if I could open the damn thing, um, it's really pretty. It's got some really nice blushes in here. They have some shimmer on them, but I think it's just on the top, honestly, because like once you use them and dust the glitter off, it's nice. Plus these pans are huge, so it would take you forever to go through this. And I want to say this was under 10 bucks. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure it's still available, and it's really pretty. And like I love that overlay, like it just looks like lace in there, and it's just gorgeous. Last face palette, I have the Flower Shimmering and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I feel like I haven't used this in a while. This one's kind of like a putty formula. And I just realized that I didn't even look in my drawers. I just looked in palettes. So I probably have some more stuff. But let's swatch these for you. Like these are also, um, like they're pretty, but I think they're also more, um, they're less blinding than, you know, the BH Cosmetics. So you might like them if you're more into subtle highlighters. So that's another plus. However, now that I've realized that I didn't even look in my drawer, the best highlighters I've found from the drugstore are the ColourPop ones. They come in this packaging. This one is in Lunch Money, and it has a giant hole in it, as you can see, a giant pan, because I use it so much. And these are like a putty. So they're very soft, and they're super shimmery. Like, look at that. Would you look at it? It's just so pretty. And they're shiny, and they're reflective, and they're just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. So that's a huge um, highlighter formula that I really like. They're the Super Shocks, and they're just a really nice formula. I have that one. I have Guilty Pleasure, which is kind of like a pink gold. I have this purple one in Rocket Science. I need to use that one more. And then this one's very similar to Lunch Money. This is Flexitarian. So as you see, they're very similar. They're kind of, they're both gold with different undertones. But they're very worth it to me. I think they're gorgeous. And like, now that I'm in here, this highlighter by Juvia's Place, we're getting to the eyeshadows, I promise. Um, this highlighter by Juvia's Place, if you, wanna, if you want to glow, and I've talked about this before, this is the Tribe 3 by Juvia's Place. And this is so blinding. You can see I've used a lot of it because you can't even see Juvia's anymore, which was embossed in it. Because it's blinding, 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 blinding. Like, oh, it's so pretty. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorite highlighters. Ones that aren't great, let's talk about that if you want to know what to stay away from. 
Um, I have these Milani highlighters that are just not my favorite formula. I find that they're a little, t they're not as blinding as I want them to be. And that's not the only issue because, um, like, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I want a subtle highlighter today. I always want a glow. That's not even the thing. It's just, they're, they're too subtle for me and I feel like they're kind of powdery. So I just don't feel like they, they just don't look as nice on my skin. So when I do a declutter, these are definitely two I'm not going to keep. Um, so don't buy these, basically. Don't buy the Milani blushes, they're just not, or highlighters, they're just not it. Um, I have this J Cat one. I don't think I've tried this. If I have, it's been a while. I don't even know what I, like, if I like it or not. I think I bought it for like a drugstore video and I never did it. So this is the J Cat Beauty You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter. And I love that it has a rose in the middle. It's really pretty. I'm like, now we're on a rabbit hole of makeup. I'm sorry. It feels kind of dry, like just from swatching it but it looks really pretty, really, really pretty in pink. So, ooh, it's a little more powdery and you can see like in the middle, it's kind of sheer. Let's see when you blend it. Hmm. It's still kind of there. I feel like it kind of blends away into nothing. Like it's just kind of like meh. Um, so I'll have to try that sometime soon and see if I like it. If not, I'm just gonna try to give it away to somebody who likes, you know, less um, pigmented stuff because that's not, not it. <sighs> I was like, let me just take another good look. Oh, here we go. This is a brand I don't talk about a lot because they just went cruelty free. Um, CoverGirl, I bought this really pretty blush, a true blend, so flushed blush. And this is in a really pretty orange shade. What's the shade? Hot Frenzy. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. Um, and just be sure when you're buying drugstore products, I feel like a lot more drugstore products aren't cruelty free than high end. Um, I'm not sure if that's true or not, or if I'm just talking out my ass, but I feel like when I go to look, a lot more drugstore products aren't cruelty free. Like Maybelline is not, I know that for sure. Physicians formula isn't. So just make sure that if that's something you care about, which you should, um, but if you don't, I'm not going to hit you, um, that you make sure that who you're buying from is cruelty free. Anyway, off on that tangent, let's look at some eyeshadows. <sighs> so I have these little babies by e.l.f. And these are pretty good. These are their bite size eyeshadow palettes. This one's in hot jalapeno. And I really like this for when I'm wearing like green scrub tops because I love like wearing this green with like these shimmers. And you can tell I've used it. I really like this one. And they're tiny and it's $3. This is $3 and it works almost as good as some of my high end stuff. Like it stays all day. It's really nice. This one is in Akayu. It's also another bite sized eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. Like look at how cute that is. It's so cute with the blues. And it's really nice. Three bucks. What else? Okay, ColourPop. I have a lot of ColourPop, so stay with me. This is Ooh La La by ColourPop. I'm pretty sure this is, I can't I can't remember if it's nine or $12. I wanna say it's $12. $12 for nine pans, I'm pretty sure. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna do it upside down so I don't blind you with the mirror, but like, look at how pretty. And um, like, this is just such a nice formula to ColourPop. I think you've, yeah, you've definitely seen me use ColourPop in some of my videos, and it's just really nice. Highly recommend. This one is the Yes Please palette, but it says Cute AF on the front of it. I'm not sure why they did that, but whatever. Um, this one is the one I've hit pan on, on one shade, so I've been using it a lot, but this one's really summery and warm and fun, and ColourPop just has a really good formula across the board. This is Sweet Talk, pressed powder by ColourPop. So basically go buy ColourPop is what I'm trying to say because it's, you can buy it in Ulta, you can buy it in their stores. These ones are a little more expensive, the 12 pans. Um, this one was 16 bucks, I think, but it's still really nice. You've got a pressed glitter in there, that one. Pressed glitter, pretty sure this is too. Um, but it's a really nice formula. They're peachy and they're beautiful. Butter me up. ColourPop, I'm pretty sure this one is also like 16 bucks. And this one also has a beautiful um, glitter. That white one and then the purple on the this one. I'm pretty sure are pressed glitters, so. 
I know I have a lot of palettes. This is, I should do a high-end video next because, and this is just the ones I think are really, really good. And then this is, oh, I should do the front first. The Element of Surprise. I'm not sure if you can still get this one because it's older. I think I got it in a boxy charm forever ago, but it's really pretty. It's got some purples, some reds. I love this. And um, if you are willing to spend a little more money, I went on ColourPop's website and I built my own just because I know I like really fun colors. So I made not quite a rainbow palette, but I love glitter. So I made, you know, some glitters and I did some mattes in there too. I do use this fairly frequently because I love it. So that's one you can do and you can make your own shades. I can't remember how much this costs. I want to say it was like 30 bucks to like make your own, which I find very reasonable considering a high-end palette is like $45 and you don't get to pick the shades. So highly recommend. <sighs> We're almost there, I promise. To finish off ColourPop, I got these two little, they have really nice singles. These I bought, or I actually got them for, my sister got them for me for Christmas. They had this thing going on where they were giving money to a charity um, with animals. So I got these, they're the sing, the Super so Shock, oh my God, the Super Shock Shadows. There we go. And the formula is really nice. Um, if you are into like single shadows, if you're just one of those people that like, you know, dips in and like puts it all over your lid and goes, like these are really nice. Also, if you're into single shadows, this is a indie brand, Be Bella Cosmetics. I found them um, when I was doing this um, like beauty expo thing. I went and my husband went with me and it was just like a fun little thing. But look at this color, it's like a gold like a pinky gold and it's just so pretty like I want to buy more of their colors because I think they're gorgeous and like this is the eyeshadow like how freaking pretty is that like this is one of like I don't really do single shadows but this is one I really like because I just think it's so pretty <sighs> from that same beauty expo I have a little one by Mica M-I-C-A cosmetics I'm not sure if they're full free or not I got this for free so I didn't pay for it but it just comes in this little like packaging like this. So I'm gonna put some in the top so I can swatch it for you. And it, this is a really cool teal shade. And I think the shade is actually really nice. Um, I feel like it might be a little patchy compared to the other one, but it's still not a bad color. Like it was free, like what am I gonna say about it, you know? But the Be Bella Cosmetics is really nice and I'm pretty sure they're cruelty free. And if it wasn't, I feel bad, but it was five bucks for one eyeshadow at this convention thing. So yeah, I definitely should have looked into it. But when I do more of like, you know, my makeup shopping, like at Ulta and online and stuff, I'm very conscious about it. And I should have been when I was there too, I should have been looking it up and I wasn't. So that's my own fault. But before we go on to lip products, this is the Masquerade by Juvia's Place. This is stunning. Um, you can get this size or you can get a mini and the mini I think would be better honestly because these sh shadows are so big you will never go through this and it's like it's bigger than my head and it's just it's so pretty like these colors are so cool and I love how it's like neutrals on the bottom and then colorful on top of course you know I go for the colorful shades but the neutrals are really pretty too and let me show you some of these like shimmery shades because those are the shades I care about and I'll show you a matte too, like this purple. I feel like the mattes are kind of drying out a little bit, but I've had this palette for a while, so that wouldn't surprise me. But like, look at that shimmer quality. Holy crap. Like the matte, you can tell it's kind of drying out. But I, like I said, I've had this palette a long time, so don't judge it by that. Buy a new one. This one, it's old. I've had it for years. But um, Juvia's Place has some beautiful shadows. If you like eyeshadow, I would recommend Juvia's Place 100%. Juvia's Place and ColourPop. Um, the e.l.f. ones are nice and they're cute and they're cheap and they last. I do like that. But I think as far as like wow factor, I think the other two have it. Anyway, let's talk about some lip products. These are my favorite from the drugstore. That's why I have so many of them. There's one in my work bag too. These are the NYX Butter Glosses. And these are so pretty. And they're, they come in all different colors, obviously. I'm gonna swatch the purple for you because I think it's really fun. 
but these are really, they're sheer, so like you don't have to panic when you see the color. Like you put it on, but it shears out. So it just kind of, it's like a light wash of color. Same with the red. This is called Apple Crisp, the red. Also the purple was called Raspberry Tart, in case you wanted to know. But we'll swatch the red for you, because I feel like the red is going to be more popular. Um, it's really pretty. It just gives you like a nice wash of color, but it does sheer out. Obviously I just added some more, but if you like, you know, rub it, it shears out. Mm -hmm. um, these aren't sticky. They last a while and they're cheap. You can get them normally. They're like five bucks each, but they always have a sale on NYX products. You can get my favorite eyeliner and these, and they're normally like buy one, get one half off or something, or they're like, they always have a sale, buy two, get one free or something. So you can get these and they're so good. Um, as far as a setting spray, I really don't have a setting spray. I wish I did because I think that's something I should look into. That's what somebody was asking me about on my Facebook. They were like, oh, do you have a drugstore setting spray? And I'm like, you know what, I don't. I only have the all-nighter because I know it works, so that's why I buy it. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't bought a drugstore one because I don't want to try it and it suck. Especially because where I live, it's going into the hotter season. Like, I can actually go swimming today and it's the end of March. Um, whereas normal places, it's not like that. It's still kind of chilly, so. Um, I need something that's going to lock my makeup into place, especially because my skin is so dry. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this drugstore overview and like showing you my favorites. If you want a high-end version of favorites and stuff to stay away from, please let me know. I had fun doing this. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and I'll see you guys later. Bye!